Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. On today's Shop Talk video, my buddy Vern is here to teach us all how to cut some flat glass. Welcome back for another Tips and Tools Tuesday with your host Anthony Bronner from Hardcore Fab. So Vern and I go back about 10 years or so and he is definitely my go-to guy for glass. He's been in the business for about 20 years or so and he was working for a shop here in town and did a lot of stuff like this when he was working for the shop here in town but now he's gotten picked up by one of the biggest new car dealers over in Wichita and he's over there doing glass in you know eighty thousand dollar vehicles all the time so something like our old crow project is not going to be anything that's going to intimidate him and he has definitely got a bunch of knowledge when it comes to working with glass so let's just go over and let him start teaching us laminated glass so we're going to cut it twice we can cut this side and break it flip it over cut it and break it okay and then that's where the alcohol comes in we gotcha. need alcohol to cut the lamination inside. So we gotta go get some of that here in a second. Yes, so. but we'll do these cuts first and okay. we'll go from there. So to cut when it. When you're doing this, you wanna make one continuous cut. You can't stop midway and then start again. What well, happens if you stop midway? That is a breaking point. When okay. you go to break it, it could take off and not fall in your scribe. What we're doing is actually just scribing it. We're okay. not actually cutting glass. Fair enough. Okay. Now what's the plan? Now we're gonna snap it. So I'm gonna move the camera over here a little bit closer. I want to get my, see the scribe in it. Let's see if I can see there. Oh, can you see it? Nope. Where's it at? Is it right on the right line? Right on the edge of the countertop. Okay, so it's right on the edge of the countertop. So that's what we're expecting to see break here. Are we ready? Go for it. Just like that. Sweet. There's one break. So now we will. Now we got. We actually kind of barely just see it in there if we get just the right angle. Let's see if Flex can do that. Okay. Oh, now we see it plain as day. Should I have found you a little taller uh, counter to work on? Yeah, that would have looked nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll that. You gotta make sure you get your cut on top of the old one. Directly on top. Directly on top. Should mention that you're using my crappy clamps. These are not something you would probably normally use. No, but. When you forget your stuff, you use what we got. Gotta work with what you got. Okay. Okay. Now the moment of truth. This is it. carpet under here but I don't have carpet but I might have some cardboard it'll be all right There's our second brick sweet so officially cut on both pieces of the laminated glass now we just have the plastic stuff in the middle to deal with correct yes so I guess we got to go get some alcohol so for alcohol, we just used some regular rubbing alcohol, went to the dollar store, got some generic stuff, and it's only 70%. Not super flammable, but it did do the job. And then we just picked up a cheap little dollar spray bottle to put it in to spray it on. All right, so tell us what we're doing now. We are going to cut the lamination in between the glass with fire. With fire. With fire. Hopefully it'll work. It's more flammable now, but it's a little better. Same second go. Hey now. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go the other way with that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> it should start just falling here in a second. I'm just keeping tension on it. I'll let it go down. Okay. 
So we're not technically cutting it with fire. All we're really doing is we're taking like the two halves of the piece of glass and we're putting the alcohol on there to heat it up. And then with the heat, that allows it to kind of stretch and fold down and gives you enough of a crack there to actually run knife through and cut the laminate. All right, so we cut the old ones out just so that we would have them for these templates, right? Yes, we need a, needed patterns. Now, do we make them we make them an exact same size, right? We wouldn't do them under or over for any reason? Correct. No, no reason. How do you cut the so curves? We're going to cut them flat and then sand them after we're done. And sand the curve into them. Really? Yes. What do we sand it with? Uh, 50 grit sandpaper. 36, 50, somewhere down around there. Flap wheel on a grinder? No, 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 no. No? We should be using a belt sander, but... There again, I came unprepared. You didn't just bring a belt sander with you no, every I time didn't. you go to somewhere you don't no. just carry one? So we're gonna use an angle grill, angle dr angle grinder, with probably some 50 on it. Okay. And that's just to take off the sharp edges so cool. I don't cut the new rubber. That's all we really need it for. Back to the fire. Back to the fire. Good dollars for a sprayer. Doing great. Way better than the dollar sprayer. I figured it wouldn't work for darn. Is that necessary or just like seeing the flames? I just like seeing the flames. Okay. I'm just playing. Fair enough. I'll let it sack a little bit if it can. It's going. Oh, you blew the fire out. So we've got a start of a rough shape around the corner and you're going to take off some more? Yeah, I'm going to take off these edges so we can sand it a little bit easier. Let me just hold this other side for you. Yeah. That should be, we'll go right about there. That's just a lot of sand and take that much glass off. Gotcha. And it doesn't sand like body filler? No. So Vern didn't bring all of his stuff, so he's making do with the stuff that I've got laying around. So we've reverted down to the flat disc and a 60 grit uh, disc on there, right? Yes. So let's see, let's see, let's see how that goes. See if this makes a little bit of a mess.
All right, so what's your overall take? Is the right angle grinder with a flap wheel the way to go? For what we have, yes. This is the best way. So it's actually moving some material, it looks like. So basically, you're just using that top one as a template to grind to. Is that correct? Yes, just trying to get the pattern where it needs to be. And you're getting pretty close it's to being dialed close. in there, I would think. Yes. It'd be a lot quicker if I had my belt sander, but... So Vern's still out there working, but I figured I'd sneak in here and try to get you a shot of the name of his glass cutter, if I could. And this kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like here. A little bolt on the end actually comes off, and then you add some fluid in there that actually drips out the other end and lubricates the thing, I guess. I don't know if that's a good brand or a bad brand, but that's what he's using, and it seems to work really good, so I would guess it's an okay one. Much better. Better than the right angle grinder? Yes. <laughs> now we're moving some stuff here. So even though the right angle grinders were working, they weren't working real well. So I went ahead and broke down and got Vern a belt sander and that made a ton of difference. So that pretty much shows you guys and me how to do this stuff ourselves now. And I think I'm going to try it on my next go around and see if I can't do it myself. It doesn't look all that bad. So huge shout out for Vern for showing us all. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And I guess with that, that's about all I got for you guys in this video. So I'll see you on the next one.